Victorinlahti area is an area in the city center where we citizens of Helsinki love to walk and jog and in summertime even do morning gymnastics and Tai Chi. Surrounded by cultural and sporting atmosphere, we can enjoy a clean environment and meet friendly people. That is our privilege. My name is Raja Mattila. I am co-chair of the International Working Group on Women and Sport, IWG. I am very proud that the Finnish Sports Federation was elected to take responsibility of leading the work of the IWG in 2010 to 2014. The culmination of this will be the organization of the Sixth World Conference on Women and Sport in 2014. We are honored that Mrs. Tarja Halonen, President of the Republic, has agreed to be patron of this conference. I am now standing by the Tölölahti Bay and seeing the Finlandia Hall on the other side of this bay. It shines with its marble both on the outside and in the interior. It is a masterpiece of great architect Alvar Aalto. It is the venue where our conference is going to be held. I cannot think of a more inspiring place where we can share our experiences on the development of sport in advancing more equal and fair future. And also, of course, to pave the way for common actions to be taken globally. Behind me you see the Opera House, which is also located in the Tölönlahti area, only a few hundred meters from Finlandia Hall, where our conference is going to be organized. And it houses uh, our national opera and national ballet. Many of our world-famous musicians have been educated in the sole Finnish Music University Sibelius Academy, and I will mention only a few of them. Soprano Karita Mattila, conductor Esa-Pekka Salonen, and composer Kaija Saariaho. They also show their excellence at times in this house. I think that we should learn to cooperate better between music and sport because we could learn so much from each other. This is the Olympic Stadium, only a few hundred meters from the Opera House. I have experienced here many exciting moments and also poured tears both for joy and happiness and also for failure. I must confess that I love top-level sport as long as it honors fairness and equality. I am proud to say that this is the venue of 1952 Olympic Games. The year 1952 was an important landmark when we could say that the internationalization of the Finnish society began. For us the Games, so short after the Second World War, gave us hope for peace and good life and also united the Finnish nation. Almost 5,000 athletes participated in the Games, but out of them, only 500 were women. That is about 10%. Today we have come a long way forward, witnessing more than 40% of participants in the Olympic Games being women. 
Of course, this does not prove that the sports culture is generally based on gender equality, but it gives us hope for a better future.